Welcome to my video. Today I want to talk about what the difference is between the role of a systems engineer and systems engineering in general and the role of an embedded software engineer. But before we do that, let me first introduce myself. My name is Florian. I'm a computer science professor specializing in embedded systems here in Germany. And my mission is to help you making your next step in your software engineering career. And if you're interested in making that next step or if you're interested in growing as a software engineer, then please subscribe to my channel. Now back to the topic of systems engineering. Before we talk about the role of the system engineer, let's first define what systems engineering actually is. And we will use here the definition of the INCOSI, the International Council on Systems Engineering. And what they say, and I'm just reading this out as a quote, is they're saying systems engineering is a transdisciplinary and integrative approach to enable the successful realization, use and retirement of engineered systems using system principles and concepts and scientific, technological and management methods. So it's actually quite a lot. So in other words, systems engineering is a cross-disciplinary approach where you try to look at the overall system and combine things like software, hardware, mechanical, electrical things. And you're always looking at the whole system, not only on the individual domains. And the idea is that a system engineer specifies a system from the viewpoint of the individual stakeholders or the customer and also writes or translates the customer and stakeholder requirements into a system requirement specification. And this is then already split in a way that it's clear what functionalities, what features will be implemented in software, what features will be implemented in hardware, so that based on the system requirements and the system architecture, the individual domains like software engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering can then start their work and derive their own domain level requirements and work on the system. The system engineers also need to keep both the technical side of things and the business side of things in mind and need to make sure that both the technical needs and the business needs of all stakeholders are fulfilled. And of course, when I'm talking here now about system engineer or system engineers, it's usual multiple engineers, not just a single one, because that would be too much work for just one person. But in essence, the main task of a system engineer is to understand the requirements and needs of the customer and other stakeholders and then to translate them in such a way that the individual domains can start their work. And that also means to write a system level specification, whether that's only requirements or requirements and architecture, that is written in such a way that individual domain teams can just start their work. And that also means that things like, for instance, hardware software interfaces are already defined on the system level so that the hardware team and the software team can work independently from each other. What makes the system engineering role a very interesting one is that you solve a lot of different problems. And depending on how complex the system is and how many system engineers are involved in designing the system, you might either focus on the overall system and all the different problems, or you might specialize in one specific feature, one specific sub problem and solve that. And of course, if you need to solve those individual problems and, and derive concepts to solve those problems, you need both a software know-how and also uh, know-how in electrical engineering or mechanical engineering because you need to have all the pieces together to 
build the concept. But no worries, if you don't have all those expertises, you can always bring in the domain experts and be more a moderator of the discussion to find a joint concept and a solution for the problem. Depending on how you look at it, one drawback of the system engineering role is that you basically stop at this conceptual level, right? So you come up with the concept, you come up with the idea, maybe together with the domain team, but you are not the one implementing it. And that is depending on how your interests are perfectly fine or not, right? Sometimes you are more the person that also wants to implement things and then this is probably not for you. But if you are a person that enjoys writing software requirements, doing software architecture, doing this conceptual work, then systems engineering might be a good role for you. So I hope I gave you a good idea of what the systems engineering role is looking like. Important disclaimer, role definitions vary from company to company, from industry to industry, from country to country. So it's important that you always read the job description or ask questions about tasks and responsibilities in the interview to make sure that this job role, this name is really what you think it is and that you are a good fit for the position as well. Now I'm curious, what's your experience with systems engineering? Do you like this requirements engineering work architecture more on the conceptual side or are you more the implementation person? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you found this video helpful, if you have liked it, and uh, if you want others to see this video, then please smash the like button. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, then please subscribe to the channel so that I can see you in the next video.